Awesome. My name is Joy Chevalier, and I am with the uh, founder and CEO, not just with, founder and CEO of the Cook's Nook, and we're out of Austin, Texas. So let me just tell you just a very quick story. It has two parts. One part was I was in graduate school, and of course, you know, in graduate school, you eat the best. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> and I soon found out I was a diabetic. Um, I managed to get through that, but I got to the point um, where at the beginning of COVID, I was actually quite sick. And I was watching on television what was happening in lockdown and what people were eating, what mothers were eating, what the families were eating. And I kind of looked at the screen and said, if I ate any of that, I would be incredibly sick, right? It was calories. It was not nutrition. And in the first rule is what? Do no harm, right? And so I decided that we were going to take a pivot in the company and really focus on what we do now, which is nutrition solutions. We actually provide those in healthcare, governments, and other agencies uh, a tool by which they can actually do nutrition solutions, provide nutrition to targeted populations. So my, my cohort has done a fabulous job of telling you guys the numbers, so I'm going to skip a little bit of that. Um, but we also know, in general, 6 to 10 adults has a chronic disease and 90% don't eat enough healthy, healthy food products. However, we are in a $4 trillion business uh, that is healthcare. And we actually know that when you can actually tailor nutrition, tailor meals, particularly when we're talking about diet-related uh, diet health conditions, we're talking about saving cost of care uh, around $13.6 billion annually. These are preventable actions that we can take when you actually target and do personalization. Did I mention, by the way, I spent 20 years doing personalization and technology? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, me and this clicker. So this area is generally known as food is medicine. When we talk about how do we actually use nutrition to actually bring health equity. And so what um, we're doing at the Cook's Nook through what we call Cultura Cuisine is cost-effective, equitable solutions uh, around food as medicine with culturally relevant meals. One of my backgrounds also in cultural um, and cultural uh, historian uh, around food, particularly regional food around the United States and the diaspora food of African Americans. So that is inherently a part of the work that we do, that the meals are culturally relevant, they're exciting, people want to eat them when they want to eat them, they want to stay in program and you have a better opportunity for improved health outcomes. Switching this. Uh, just real quick on the size of this. So this is actually quite huge, and what we're talking about here is this is just 10 billion in market growth. There are very few, you'd be shocked, who are actually providing these kinds of nutrition services at all, uh, targeted nutrition services. Uh, only 500 million in play. We could name the companies that are out there who have focused in this area, right? Um, and what we do know is with the changes in CMS, the changes around food no longer being seen as an inducement or a bribe to join insurance plans. Instead, people are starting to see plans, insurers, healthcare providers are starting to see it as a solution and that it is available as a part of programs. So to that end, just who we're talking with a lot, we started um, in a government and uh, with our CBO friends and partners, we actually started the, in a program that is still used by Travis County uh, in, in uh, our home, uh, Austin. Um, and growing to benefits platforms and also to the care providers. Um, I'll just talk about that in a second, and then our longer-term growth. Uh, so what is it? And people go, oh my gosh, it's just food. Well, it's not, because a solution actually is more than just the nutrition. It's actually trying to deal with the distribution model, the metrics, um, and the equity metrics that actually show that that program, that nutrition actually is making sense for, the, for what you're trying to bring to the table. And in, in order to do that, you see up there, it's a cultural cuisine for maternal health, diabetes health, and renal health. And of course, we're focused on maternal health here. We have a whole bunch of components that help us and allow us to create those solutions so we can meet them where their nutritional needs, where they are uh, in, in relation to nutrition. So just a uh, quick example of some of the folks we're working with. Our big program right now that's actually most uh, uh, relatable here is actually a program with Ascension. Ascension Seton is Austin. And um, they actually just started our culture and cuisine program for maternal health, which involves an eight-week postpartum program for mothers that includes not only uh, a set of meals and our cut vegetables and uh, grains uh, portion, which is called elements. So they have meals and elements that the mothers get every, receive every week, uh, plus a partner that provides 
a bit of whole farm vegetables, and a, a few staples as well. So the family is included in that because not only do you have the meals when the mother needs that, we know sometimes the mother is often last in her own household, even if she's postpartum, um, but to be able to bring others into that with the other, um, the other components. El Buena is a CBO in town. They're very much focused on diabetes and community health, and we have a partner who's working in Medicare, Medica sorry, Medicare Advantage programs, uh, providing uh, renal, uh, diabetes, and heart health to those members. A um, few stats, you see here real quick. Uh, the key one here is at the bottom. Folks want to eat this. And, well, you know, <laughs> that's the important part, right? <laughs> right? And uh, quickly talk about just competitors and what's out in the space, but I think our differentiators are clear, particularly around that client-centric uh, and health equity approach. It's not just about getting food out the door, it's actually about uh, actually achieving health outcomes and equitable goals. And you see the little star over there, over by Kentucky? That's where we're going. <laughs> it was intentional. And just a little bit on outputs and outcomes. Uh, you know, our, our, our main statement is that, you know, as part of a health intervention program that nutritious high quality meals is the game changer for those who are in diet related health condition situations. Um, and actually not only is that a return in improved health, but there's also a cost savings to that. And part of that is actually about the data that we're collecting. I think you'll find that we're one of the few organizations that actually, particularly in the nutrition space, who actually care and actually demonstrate outcomes. So I'll skip the numbers here in this area because folks talked about them. I come from a state where that maternal mortality rate is three times average. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is, it is, a, it is a concern in our state. Um, we actually had some recent legislation. Uh, still no Medicare, Medicare managed uh, expansion, uh, but we hopefully will actually be able to do that. But I think the key thing here is the bottom item around that 91% uh, and these are actually from actually from the state uh, government documentation uh, that 91% of MMR uh, are actually pre preventable. So what is this grant? This grant is huge. We've been waiting to come uh, to, this, to this area to bring culture cuisine for maternal health, to partner with folks here, to be able to dig into those uh, communities uh, with mothers who really need this focus. You guys have heard from my own cohort who actually are already here. I look forward to working with them and meeting some of the rest of you uh, to have this six-month targeted pilot um, with data and to be able to show outcomes about how nutrition directly affects and changes what's going on. Thank you guys so much.